Think Tech Hawaii. Civil engagement lives here. Aloha, welcome back to the Cyber Underground. I'm your guest host, Rochelle Monsilungan, and I have some um, special guests with me. I'm actually covering for Dave and Andrew, they're off island. And so let me introduce you to my guests for today. First, my co host, uh, CJ. Did you want to introduce yourself? Oh, hi, I'm CJ. Um, I'm a UH West Oahu student, and I study computer electronics networking technology, and I'm Rochelle's classmate. Okay. Uh, Jack? Hi, uh, I'm Jack Gardina, I'm also a UH West Oahu student. I study ISA and I'm here to talk about that today. Okay, great. Um, I'm Ashlyn, I am at KCC still. Um, I'm an ITS student going to West Oahu to do creative media. Oh, great. Okay, well, it was great to have you guys here. And I know it's short notice, but thank you for have, for coming here. Thank you for having me. us. Yes. Yeah, thank you. So our first topic today is um, social media which Ooh. I'm sure all of us have, right? Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> so, do you wanna, anybody want to talk about what social oh, yeah, media so is exactly? <laughs> today we wanted to talk about social media because uh, everyone has it, um, companies have it, websites, students have it, teachers already have it, and they're starting to use it for um, communication with their, with their students. And we just wanted to maybe like confess like what apps we have now uh, what we use it for uh, why we use it and like how does it affect us in our daily lives and then like right. discuss the pros and cons about it right so because yeah. pretty much we all use social media every day yeah so i'm yeah. gonna confess i use instagram every day <laughs> <laughs> i insta story everything <laughs> including a lie <laughs> right. what you do in the morning yeah brushing your teeth yes. Not <laughs> <laughs> Correct. <laughs> but how many of you? What other um, social media apps do you guys have? Like Jack, what do you? I'm an Instagram user as well. <laughs> I've had Facebook for a while. Okay. I try and limit it to those two, and I right. am proud to say that I don't use it every day. <laughs> um, yeah, use I use Facebook, Snap, Snapchat. I think I use daily the most. Yeah, Snapchat, I use the filters. Yeah. <laughs> And then what about like, do you guys use like dating apps like Tinder? Swipe left. <laughs> or just swipe right. <laughs> no, no, luckily I don't have to use that. I already have a good guy with me. So. Awesome. Yeah. And I, uh, I'm married, so <laughs> definitely no Tinder. Uh, I know what it is. I got a good guy too. <laughs> Okay, yeah. same thing. <laughs> and what about? I know you guys use Facebook, so I try, I try not to use Facebook too much. If I do, it's like everything is like <clears throat> the um, the whole like security. Yeah, I'm so good at that. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, because like I feel like I have to share a lot since family is on right. Facebook. So they're like scrolling and seeing what I'm doing. Yes. And they're like commenting on that's all the pictures. That's another thing. People are like, why did you do that? And what are you doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Facebook. Uh, I've been using it since 2004, wow. so just date myself a little bit. But uh, <laughs> you know, it, they really fell out of favor for me when they introduced the news feed. Correct. Because it used to be really fun. You know, if you wanted to check up on somebody, you clicked on their profile. But now you're just overwhelmed by information yeah, every right. time you use it. It's crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of third party that you could tell. Yeah, like, I agree. Yeah. The advertisements, or they like you were searching something on the web, and all of a sudden you see that appear. Like, how do they? Yeah, it's kind of <laughs> creepy, right? Yes. So like, I'd be looking at Amazon. They have like Amazon Echo popping up on yep. Facebook. Mm -hmm. That's really yep. creepy nowadays. Ads for the product you were just looking at. Yeah. Yes. No fun. Yeah. And I, I'm pretty sure I turn off that feature, but I still get that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. So what other? Um, what else? I mean, I think that. What are you like? Some pros and cons, or. More like the cons, I guess. Like if someone mm -hmm. were to post something about themselves, is it like a more defamation of character? You know, especially if they're professional. What do you guys think mm -hmm. about that? Like, I think if they're professional, it right. would affect them a lot. Mm -hmm. They have to be careful about what they post about themselves, right. um, what they discuss online. Right. I mean, it's a free country, of course, but you're still you still have to be careful. But you have to. I know. I heard that there's some employees that actually go on, like employers that go on to check. I've heard that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's interesting. Um, used to be your life was only in the looking glass if you were famous. Right. Whereas now everyone has social media. Everything you do is logged and monitored, depending on mm -hmm. what kind of privacy settings you use. And you know that's a pretty fine line to walk. I mean, if you make a mistake, 
your friends at least are going to know about it potentially mm -hmm. and we all see what happens when somebody famous does something wrong i mean public mm -hmm. response is pretty brutal yeah that's right intense i think i mean i don't want to be mean <laughs> but a lot of people use it you know for attention so mm -hmm. the last year i kind of shied away from you know everything right and just been well, as a, I know because we're all into cybersecurity, do you guys not try, try not to share too many things? Or Lately, I've yeah. been, yeah. Really, yeah, I've been stopping lately. myself from just like posting about right. daily activities. Right. And just only post like really important events. In my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I'm with CJ. Uh, I've got a lot of family that doesn't live on island. Mm -hmm. So I try and restrict it just to sharing photos with them. Mm -hmm. Right, that's and what I do too. I also try to... You can use a feature on Facebook to view your profile from somebody else's point of view. Right. So I always go on there periodically and try and look at it if if I were a malicious actor, you right. know, what my profile would look right. like. Right, that's right. Keep it anonymous. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like I don't, I don't post anything, but I feel like how I use my social media, like I'll stay logged on, you know, right. and like on my devices. So yes. if someone were to steal my stuff. I'm kind of done for. So I had actually a family member, they asked me to make their Facebook account. I tried to make it as private as possible, but then they told me later that their account got hacked. And I know they don't log mm. off often, especially when they use their mobile. So I don't yeah. know, I'm kind of firmly believe to log off of <laughs> not leaving things yeah, on. Yeah, like, it's so easy to just leave your um, Facebook, right. any social media on yes. your phone. Because no one really needs to remember their password yeah. nowadays if you have like Touch ID biometrics right. now with Samsung, <laughs> like it's crazy. But then you have, they're really, um, they don't really watch what they're doing sometimes. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're like at a coffee shop, you leave yeah. your laptop there, you leave your phone there, you go to the bathroom, someone could just easily, yeah, you know, Especially peek, the public Wi-Fi, right? Yeah. yeah, that too. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't like to use public Wi-Fi as often. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless I really have to. <laughs> <laughs> But it's readily available and everyone can post things. Yes, now. right. But that's that's what's good about social media is mm -hmm. um, how they promote businesses mm -hmm. and how businesses um, attract more people nowadays. Right. It's through social media. Well, as because we're like um, students and also going to be professional soon, do you guys use accounts like um, social media like LinkedIn or? Oh yes. Because I know we yes. have a professor that totally is against using that. Mm -hmm. I, I have another professor that shared it with us and when he first had his class, like his mm -hmm. shortest profile. I mean, how are you guys really into that at all? Or I've held out on LinkedIn for okay. a long time just yes. because I was in the military for a while and oh, it wasn't really right. necessary. But lately, as I've been applying for more jobs, mm -hmm. I've met several people that have recommended I use it. Yes, and, same uh, for me. One of our professors, Dr. Chapman, I believe, he mm -hmm often talks about if you're going into security, depending on the field, you may or may not want to use it, like you mm. mentioned. So I sort of contemplated that, but I think used responsibly. It's just right. a good networking tool. Networking, exactly. That's, you know, the, the popular thing now. Right. Yeah. yeah, and that's like how companies find out right. about their employees, right? Yes. Yeah. And background checks, getting a clearance. Yes. Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes it might even seem weird that you don't have a social media account because you're not open, right? <laughs> right. They That's might right. find it like, why is this person not sharing stuff about himself? Why are they being so really secretive? Private I yeah, yeah know I'm people sure. that are like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. <laughs> So what other, um, did you guys ever have MySpace or, you know? Oh, those were the days. <laughs> <laughs> and MySpace is a little different. <laughs> I think yeah. that started out before Facebook, right? <laughs> yeah. So MySpace was like more music sharing. Right. I, I remember really like, like making my, kind of like doing web design. Yeah, that was the very first way. time <laughs> we ever did yeah. Yeah. HTML. HTML. That's you're, how I first yeah. started HTML. You were friends with Tom? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Actually, I was friends with Tom. There's a little tidbit here. And I was his featured friend of the month. Oh, wow. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had the same taste in music. <laughs> Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I won't say the. So there's. I actually probably older than you guys, but there's another social media that I used to use before that, Asian Avenue. Oh, <laughs> guys, okay. I've never heard of that. So I've heard of AOL though. Okay. <laughs> We're not gonna go there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I really liked um, the music aspect. Um, or MySpace. Yeah, because yeah. Spotify wasn't really there before. Um, I didn't really think about using YouTube as right. a music outlet either. So, and then designing your own website was pretty fun. Yeah, I enjoyed that. I remember spending hours Me on too. the computer <laughs> just looking for 
for cold. Yes, I did the same. <laughs> Just to make my background. I did the same. <laughs> and the music. And you were learning so much and you didn't even realize it. Yeah, yeah exactly. gonna get into that, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's sad we don't even do that anymore. Yeah. It's all done for you. Yeah. Plus, because, yeah, they took that feature out, right? Mm -hmm. I guess for security reasons as well. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, oh, and people are like, hey, they're these. Um, Kids or, or these adults are stealing my design. Yeah. Like they're getting really right. sensitive about right. that now. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what are some ways that you guys kind of keep your, your, since I know you guys all use the social media, so what are some ways that you would you suggest to, should they share more information, less information? Because you know, all of us, we know how to do open source intelligence <laughs> on people. Because sure. we've yeah. been doing pen testing and all that. Or in classes, we've learned mm -hmm. tools to use. So, or like, the general public, how would you like suggest to them that they shouldn't share? I definitely would say think twice about what you're gonna post okay. every time, even if it's just a picture. Yes. Just you and your friends. Right. Like a beer in your hand could mean something else yes. to other people. Mm -hmm. Or sharing like your birth date on Facebook right. too. That's a big key aspect right. of your life. Um, people can use. Even just the background of where you're at, like they don't know yeah, yeah. locations. Sure. I pretend what oh, locations yeah. I'm at. Geolocation or, yeah. too. Yeah. yeah, I would say think twice about what you're going to post and then think again. <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Uh, I use a lot of Twitter. Okay, Not well, I don't use Twitter. Okay. I've never, well, I've tweeted a few times, yeah. but really I just use it for information gathering purposes. I mean, I right. read some sports, but uh, it is truly amazing what you can pull off of Twitter, yes. whether you're mining data Points. or you're just using <laughs> keyword searches. Right. Um, you know, if I'm researching a particular topic or I'm just being nosy about somebody, <laughs> I mean, you can <laughs> spend 10 minutes on Twitter and find out more than you ever would have dreamed. Yes. Uh, and I think Twitter is pretty hot right now as far as being in the news because of our um, current administration and uh -huh. they're using it differently. Using and it's, yeah, Twitter's a big one for me. Yes, I remember you doing that in our database class, right? Right. Data mining. Yeah. <laughs> oh wow. Yes, in Dale mining. Nakasone's class. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Dale. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Ashley? Um, I just think like, especially when you put like, I mean, posting for sure, but like yeah. it, when you put your interest, like oh, some yeah. might be kind of like, maybe you shouldn't say that, right? Yeah. I mean, it, you are you, but you shouldn't say that right. in public. Like right. it's kind of scary. Or even, I kind of shy away from putting where I worked. Oh, yeah. Because mm. I've had people where they contact me like, oh, oh, you worked at so and so. I worked there too, but I found out later they didn't work there. You know, oh. it's like, oh, that's, that's kind of. Oh yes. So They're there's like a lot of cyber social stalkers. Engineering yeah, engineering <laughs> right. Though, right. Yeah, social engineering exactly. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I think uh, location settings and geolocation yeah. in general that is that's a huge one. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. if you use it a lot, depending on how you use it, mm -hmm. if you have that location service turned on. I mean, that's just like a homing device that you're attaching to yourself 24 hours a day. Yeah. And uh, that can be dangerous for um, people gathering information about you, and you might not want anyone to know that. Right. Yeah. So it's just, that's number one for me. Right. Mm. Doesn't um, Snapchat make you do that now? It makes you. Oh, yeah. I remember when exactly that came out. Or oh. Yeah, it would that. map out all your friends oh, on yes. the US so you know or, you know, the is. Hawaii Island. Okay, I didn't use it in that. <laughs> and you could scary. see where. <laughs> I don't know. What? No, you can I see where that. your friend Tom is <laughs> at 3 p.m. He's at Starbucks or oh, something, or nice. in Kapolei. Mm. Okay. Yeah, it's really right. funny. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew that. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it was like you had to, I don't know, swipe down first or yeah. something. Yeah. Even not in Hawaii, like just anywhere in the oh, world. Oh, yeah, you yeah. Can see everyone. Oh, like friends. let's say you follow your favorite celebrity. Yeah. You mm. could see them right Oh, right. oh that's true. Or something. That's oh, I, I, I thought somebody <laughs> did see it. I don't know. That reminds me of, uh, yeah. you know, recently the Strava fitness app. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. It was, uh, people were using it to track their fitness movements, and it was geolocation was involved. Yes. Oh. And people were actually looking at those heat maps yes. and figuring out classified military yes. locations. Whoa. Dave and Andrew just talked about that. Oh. That's show that I was at. Of wow. Course, yeah. That's where I heard about That's crazy. It. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my gosh. But, yeah, it, you know, it, people that have ill intentions can use all kinds of stuff, yeah. and that's just a perfect example. you got to be careful mm -hmm. yeah. what you're what putting you out post, there. Exactly. But definitely, it's still fun to like keep in touch with your friends and family, especially if they're like abroad. Right, right. Let's say, I don't know, maybe a daughter has a mom abroad in the Philippines or something, and that's the only way they have they contact each other. Since, you know, you know calling each other kind of costs a right. lot more. I agree with that, yeah. Yeah. 
and now my dad. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, oh. we'll hold that thought. We're going to take a break, guys. We'll be right back. <laughs> Aloha, I'm Richard Concepcion, the host of Hispanic Hawaii. You can watch my show every other Tuesday at 2 p.m. We will bring you entertainment, educational, and also we tell you what is happening right here within our community. Think Tech Hawaii. Aloha. Aloha. My name is Mark Shklov. I am the host of Think Tech Hawaii's Law Across the Sea. Law Across the Sea comes on every other Monday at 11 a.m. Please join us. I like to bring in guests that talk about all types of things that come across the sea to Hawaii. Not just law, love, people, ideas, history. Please join us for Law Across the Sea. Aloha. Hi guys, welcome back to the Cyber Underground. I'm your guest host, Rochelle Monsilungan, and I have my co-hosts, CJ, and my two guests, Jack and Ashlyn. So earlier we were talking about um, social media apps, the pros and cons, uh, and how it could be used for social engineering, right, and open source intelligence. Mm -hmm. So ha since you spoke about that, let's go into something else that we, you know, we all pretty much familiar with, um, the National Cyber League, right. which is the spring 2018 um, season is coming up. So let's just talk a little bit about that. Um, I know a few, uh, three of us were in the same mm -hmm. group last semester mm -hmm. for our class. So yeah. you want to just talk about what the NCL means? And yeah, for, for those people that don't know what uh, National Cyber League is, it's like a uh, capture the flag competition where you solve puzzles um, ranging from easy level to hard level. And the categories can range from open source intelligence, reconnaissance, um, web application exploitation, password cracking, all of the black hat things you could think of, <laughs> right? And um, you, uh, for this season, we have preseason, regular season, and postseason. So preseason is where everyone competes individually. Okay. And at the end, depending on how many points you get, you are put into a rank. It's either gold, silver, or bronze. <clears throat> And then in the regular season, you compete with other people in the same bracket. At the end, um, there's the team, comp team competition, which is postseason. So you can have a team up to like two to five people. Right. And you're, you're competing against the nation. The nation so right. not just in Hawaii, you're also competing in the mainland. Um, and all the other students up there, even professionals can play. Okay. Is it kind of strict like the CCDC that you have to be full-time, part-time student, or it doesn't matter? Oh, no. So the uh, Collegiate Cyber Defense Competition is totally different mm -hmm. from NCL. Um, in NCL, you can be a student, you can be a professional, mm -hmm. as long as you have a coach. Oh, great. Yeah. Yes. The coach can be a student, yes. too, oh, right. or, <laughs> or a professional in the yes. field. And uh, that's the way, that's how you can get into the competition. And I know that registration is going to start soon, right? Uh, I believe. The oh, yes. Yeah. So for those students and professors that want to compete, um, registration is going to be in uh, February, February 26th to March 25th. You have that whole time to register. But there's a fee, right? But there's a fee, yes. Um, it's $25 to compete. And then for postseason, it's ten dollars per teammate. Right. Yeah. Did you guys want to talk about your experiences with them? So I know that we were all on the same team. We weren't the winning team, but you know, but it's it's, it's okay because <laughs> we still so individually did well. You know, and as a group, I think yeah. we work well together. I agree. <laughs> so did you want to share your experience with that? Like, what is your oh, favorite yeah. parts of the NCL? Like? So. Well, of course, it was team competition. Yeah. Right. right. <laughs> Individuals, it's. Pretty stressful because a lot of the work is um, done by yourself. Yes, it's a lot uh, of work on your yeah. own you hours. Forget about all your other classes. You're taking five yeah. classes and you got to focus on this. Oh my God, you're you not going to do the rest of your homework. <laughs> you could probably fall behind class after one week of yeah. CL. Because <laughs> just, just a warning. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's pretty intense. <laughs> yeah. Um, my favorite part was teams, obviously, because we get to um, collaborate mm -hmm. and meeting other students who had a different view on the categories that right. were presented right. in NCL. And some people had um, 
their specialties that they were good at and others. Oh, like yes. Jack. I know Jack had yes. it. She and I are good at, I guess, something more like open source. Yeah, yeah. open source <laughs> and wire strike. <laughs> It, uh, you know, I wasn't familiar with NCL before I came right. to Hawaii and started going to school, but it's probably been the most enjoyable thing I've done outside of class since I, I became a student. Mm -hmm. um, it's just such a good opportunity to take what you're learning in the classroom and apply it, and everybody has a little bit of the competitive nature in them, and once the competition <laughs> starts, you end up researching the different categories more, mm -hmm. and yes. mm -hmm. you just learn a ton. Yes, you uh, do. This one, this past competition we had in the fall, I probably spent between the preseason, regular season, and postseason, I would say 70 to 100 hours I, oh, yes. total I on top of my classes. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as a student, you don't always get that chance to use yeah. those skills and apply them. Mm -hmm. And while CTFs don't exactly mirror everything you're going to find in the workforce, mm -hmm. Just the chance to use tools extensively and uh, read up on them, and you can walk into an interview after that and speak confidently right. about all those things. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, I think it's just such an asset. And I just want to point out that uh, the University of Hawaii West Oahu <laughs> won the competition two years ago and placed second last year. Right. So we're doing pretty well. We we're are doing pretty well. Try and. Uh, <clears throat> And it's the, the hats, this year. Hawaii Advanced Technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Just kidding. And actually, CJ was actually, weren't you, were you part of the winning team? Or? No, 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 I wasn't. <laughs> but okay. I knew them personally, and they right. were like my really good friends right. and my officers, and they represented Hawaii and UH was all right. very well. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And I don't think we've ever had like a team like that in Hawaii. Yes. Being known as like a cyber team, mm. that's yeah. pretty big, mm -hmm. I would say. Mm -hmm. I think it's uh, it's great for the state, it's great for the school, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I think that CTFs are something that uh, have a lot of potential. Yep. Yeah. If we got those kind of things um, pushed to the lower levels of education, I think kids would really latch on to yes. it. Oh, you talk yeah. about developing skills early. That's a great opportunity, and uh, I think HPU right now is developing a cyber stadium mm -hmm. or an uh, e-gaming oh, stadium. Yeah. About that, yes. And uh, yeah, you know, I enjoy the stuff a lot, <laughs> and I know I would have liked it even more as a kid. Right. And you know, 15 years old, let's say you're studying password cracking, scanning, uh, enumeration, all of these you know important subject matter areas. That's how we improve our cyber defense. Oh, yeah. Right. So. Uh, Got to get the word out. Yes, we yeah. do. Because yeah. I know that um, hats we provide like CTF training and all that. I know we had a lot of members that were saying they're kind of intimidated because you know we we all started from the bottom. We don't know what we're doing, right? But then like if you keep doing these competitions oh, yeah. or those trainings, oh, I mean, yeah. I feel like you you will grow more and you learn more. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so on top of um, NCL, they also have a gym. They didn't oh, have yes. this before, so it yes. used to be hosted in NetLab, mm -hmm. an another virtual sandbox right. place where you can um, practice for the competition. And it, the connection was like really bad before, no one really liked the interface, but now the gym looks exactly like NCL, <laughs> the competition. <laughs> did you use the gym throughout the um, last semester? Yes. So did I, yeah. A and, lot. Yeah, I did. Yeah. And I would never have known um, to use the tools they, they hint the, the, inside the gym. And they kind of, yeah, they tell you what kind of tools you could use, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I really like, um, oh, the thing that, the category that I really hate, <laughs> oh, <yeah>. sorry, NCL, <laughs> is right. um, la log analysis. Because <laughs> uh, log analysis, that's where you take big pieces of data. A needle in a haystack. <laughs> big pieces. And you're trying to find this one piece of information, and it costs like what, 10 to 50 points sometimes. Yes. Even oh 100 Lord. points. Yes, I remember that. And it's, yeah, like Jack said, it's looking for a needle in a haystack. Yes. So it takes, I'd say logs are a, a category where you feel really tired <laughs> from everything else, and you just want to take a break. Yeah. You need a lot of time to do log analysis. I agree. For me, if you're not good at like filtering out yes. the logs, and you don't have any idea how to do that. Right. <laughs> or if you don't, but if you're really good, you could use like um, regular expressions, mm. Python, just to filter those words, the keywords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And to provide some more context on that, the 
harder challenges are intense, right? Yeah. That last day, I can recall all of us just basically banging our heads against the wall <laughs> trying to figure yes. them out. But what NCL does that's kind of neat is, uh, you know, they provide such a large breadth, breadth of uh, information and material that you're able to accomplish, I would say, 75% of it, you know, fairly easily and quickly. Right. And it's that last 25 or 10 percent that's really difficult mm -hmm. and that's where you're pushing yourself that's where you're trying to find the needle in a haystack and that's where you're really making your money as far as your uh, skills go right because to find that stuff you may not ever have dealt with it before and that's when you go on our you know google and you know <laughs> you learn how to do it yes and it tends to stick with you pretty well yeah, yeah. i do have to say though um if it's not a free for all. So if yeah. you enter an wrong answers, mm. you're definitely going to have a lower score. Yeah, and we were trying yeah. to keep up our accuracy, right? Yeah, <laughs> accuracy is so, it's so important. You remember that one? What was it? The Wireshark one? Yeah, the, uh, where you home. had to look for um, a smart home that, oh my. that had that wakes up all the devices. I think because of NCL, I got better at Wireshark from you and Jack. You, whatever you guys oh, taught yeah. me, then yeah. I got better. Definitely. <laughs> our accuracy was so good. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> like the very last day, yeah. all the teams just started spamming yes. the NCL <laughs> interface with answers, and you could. Right. They even showed a graph in their Slack channel <laughs> about oh. the accuracy of all the teams. <laughs> it's like this, and then beer. <laughs> yeah, because we the get very much desperate, right? <laughs> yeah, we, we were really desperate. And oh my God, so last year, uh, UH West Swallow oh, was like remember. first place. For like, mm -hmm. for like, um, one minute, two minutes, and then when you refresh the page, right, you got second. Oof. Right. Oh. So cool. that's pretty tough. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we're gonna close soon, but then like, um, what, what, as uh, I know you guys are, you guys gonna enter it this coming, this spring? Oh yes. Absolutely. Yes. Ashton, I think you should do it. I know you haven't done it. So. Oh, she's gonna do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Make a no team idea. at KCC. <laughs> <laughs> You guys definitely have to do it. Yeah. I mean, any like last tips you guys want to say about social media or NCL? Uh, definitely uh, encourage your students to play NCL. It's a very good uh, learning tool. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Echo that 100%. Um, <laughs> the programs at KCC, West Oahu, yes. and NCL together, you're going to walk away with it you know, a lot better prepared to get a job than you would be otherwise. I agree. Oh, yes. <laughs> Anything about social media you want to add? I know you said be careful what you share. Oh. Think again. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Especially the young people out there, they want to share everything, yes. their addresses too. Just please be careful. Yes. Yeah. Scary. Or you know what? Just don't have social media. <laughs> Turn off location Turn off, yeah. <laughs> 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 Okay. Thanks. For, mm -hmm. having yes, for having us. Yes, thank you so much guys for having um for coming on the show. Yeah. I know it was short notice, but I'm so glad to have all three of you here to help yeah. me support. And hopefully Dave will have us again. <laughs> I know he mentioned that he wanted to have us once a month, but I don't know. Yeah. Where are you, Dave? Dave? Where are you, Dave? <laughs> <laughs> Love to wherever you guys are at. <laughs> well, hopefully we did a good job and we made you guys proud. <laughs> it was pretty fun. Did you guys... I know this is guys. I know this is your second time to be on. Yeah, too. I know Andrew and Dave pretty well, right. and uh, I had the pleasure of being on with Andrew right. before. So hope you're well, Andrew. Okay, guys. So this is the Cyber Underground. Until next time, aloha. <laughs>